Hello, my name is Lucas de Man, I am from Biobase Creations and we are the proud curator of the Embassy of Biobase and Circular Building here at the Dutch Design Week in Eindhoven, where we have no visitors, because it's not allowed, yeah. of Corona, which is a shame because we created a beautiful art piece inside and nobody can see it. So we thought, you know what, let's do a little tour. Yeah, come with me. This is the back door, by the way, okay, so don't look at the rubble. Okay. Welcome! This is our exploded view. We made this because of two challenges that Holland is facing. First of all, within the next 10 years, they want to create 1 million extra houses. And at the same time, they want to reduce the CO2 emissions by 50%. All in 10 years. So that means a lot of sustainable houses. And to make a sustainable house, you need sustainable materials, like bio-based materials, and sustainable te techniques circular building techniques and that's why we created this beautiful house every material you're going to see here is bio-based and every technique is sustainable yeah come i'll show you let's start with our toilet this toilet is an ode to local 3d printing that means you sit on the toilet right you flush the toilet the water the sewage water has been captured we, re we filter it, the water goes away, and all the ingredients that we still have are used to 3D print the toilet. A 3D printed toilet from sewage water. Here, our big bedroom made out of plants. This is burlap and plant residues and bioplastics, and we create this beautiful, acoustically amazing bedroom, which you can take down whenever you want. So you can rebuild your space completely out of plants. We also have a room made out of earth, right? loam, and we have bio blocks from the swamps of Overijssel, which is a province in Holland. These blocks are made of the sods that cover the swamp. This is a fungi mycelium acoustic tile, and mycelium is the roots of the mushrooms that are growing underground, forming a strong network. And you can grow beautiful, whatever you want, any form you want, tiles or furniture, out of mycelium. It's acoustically super insulating, amazing. Then I want to show you this beautiful textile of algae. This whole wall is made of algae with natural dye. And then the floor is made out of mussel shells. So mussel shells and then some burlap and some potato to make it strong. Tiles of mussels, the mussels from Holland. And then we have our kitchen. Some beautiful things, we have milk protein, we have a wall of popcorn, but I want to show you the floor. Because the floor is made 100% out of eggs. We throw away every day 1 billion eggs, but you can make a beautiful floor with it. Yeah? I told you now, you know, we have the new materials, but I also told you we need some new techniques. For example, this shower cabin is completely the room. Called urban mining. So if you want to demolish or renovate a house, you reuse what you can find to make new stuff. If it's possible, because it's not easy, that means that the stuff has to be reusable. And the way we build at this moment with gluing things together, a lot of stuff can't be reused. You know, it's not well made. So this beautiful living room we have here is an ode to detachability. The beginning of the building process, you take into account that you can actually put stuff together that can be detached afterwards. So you can do that in your framework, you can do that in your furniture, you can actually have a whole kitchen hanging on your wall that you know you can take down easily afterwards so that you can reuse every stuff in the circle again. And then when we're talking about reuse, come, 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 come. I'll show you a small bedroom. This whole bedroom is made out of textile residue because the textile industry is the biggest waste industry there is, right? 70% of all our textile gets burned and 30% of our clothes never worn. So this insulation wall is completely made out of jeans, but you can also make hardboard material out of uh, textile. This is 100% thrown away linen and textile. Look, hardboard, no? Can you see? Okay, so. We have way much more in our house. You can watch everything on our website, theexplodedview.com, right? 40 different designers and producers. But what we are doing is showing you what is possible, but also asking questions. Uh, it's a research project. 
because there's so much we still have to know. We have to work together. We have to find out. So if you want to be inspired, go to a website. But if you want to partake in the research, also go to a website and fill in the blanks. I hope you liked the little tour. I'm so glad you came. See you later, hopefully in real life. We wanna, uh, we wanted to show uh, the little clip because people can't visit. I mean, only a few people can visit. So we we made one in Dutch, we made one in English, both of them five minutes. We also made a 25-minute tour where we explain everything for the diehards. And the great thing is when you see online, the the long version has been watched more already than wow. the short one, because people really want to know what is what is in there. And what we've done is we are artists. So I'm from the art world, and we wanted to create a. Um, let's say, easy, attainable, understandable concept, a house, everybody understand the house, and then take it apart. Actually, I made a little presentation. I don't know if I can show it to the people. Yes. If that's allowed, yes. So, the exploded view. Uh, uh, two years ago, so we thought, let's do some research in the sustainable materials, and then we came to mycelium, which is a amazing it grows it's mushroom that grows and then we understood that storytelling was not the strong issue of the bio-based world and also scale was very important so what we've done last year is during the dutch design week um, is make the growing pavilion so the pavilion that you see here was completely made out of bio-based materials the outside wall is mycelium for the first time ever used as an outside product and the people sitting on the bench are sitting on rice residues uh, inside it also looked amazing, acoustic, it was very cool. And we built this with uh, six different designers, a lot of companies. Then we, it went all over the world. We even got nominated for the Zine Award, which I really think is, is uh, awesome. And then we got a lot of requests by designers. How can we work together? We also want to show our stuff. We also uh, want to show our research. So we said, okay, we make a next step. We make a typical house with two bedroom house and we're going to take it apart. So everybody understands the concept of a house but then we show materials, but also waste uh, streams. So for example, the whole kitchen is food, the bedroom is textile, so that we show you can have also waste uh, there. I showed you the tour. And what we do is, when you come to the installation, is that you can scan everything, and then you come to the website, and on the website you see the material, but you also see who made it, you also see how they made it, and then you see the questions we still have. So this is how we thought, you see the whole room, small room, and then we continue. Because sharing knowledge, doing it open source, and asking people to join us is very, very important. So for us, we can take this uh, exploded view, we can put it in my museum, but we can also put it literally in schools or in big fairs, where you have people that don't know how this works, that don't know these materials, and we put storytellers aside of them. So you can scan everything digitally, but you also have real actors, people who know how to bring a story, um, with enthusiasm because of their troubled childhoods. So they stand next <laughs> to the exploded view and they tell you the story so that it really, really resonates with the people. Voila, that was my presentation with at least one ironic joke in it. <laughs>